गिफ्ट आइटम वर्थ रुपीज थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव इज सोल्ड बाय शॉपकीपर विथ अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीज थर्टी सिक्स फाइन द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ द गिफ्ट आइटम सो वॉट इज गिव इट टू इज सेलिंग प्राइस इज गॉट सेलिंग प्राइस इज गोइंग टू बी कॉस्ट प्राइस प्लस प्रॉफिट सो ईच एंड एवरी थिंग इज गिवन टू यू इज थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव इज द कॉस्ट प्राइस प्रॉफिट इज थ्री थर्टी सिक्स सो योर सेलिंग प्राइस इज गोइंग टू वॉट फोर हंड्रेड इलेवन रुपीज ओके नेक्स्ट कम टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम गजेंदर बॉट ए फैन ऑफ रुपीज वन थ्री फाइव जीरो ओके He found that the fan was defective, so sold it at a loss of rupees one sixty. So find out the selling price of the fan. Again, the same thing is there. Selling price is going to be cost price minus loss. Cost price is going to be one three five zero. Loss is going to be one six zero. So let's subtract it. One three five zero minus one six zero is going to be what? Eleven ninety rupees. So that is going to be your selling price after getting a loss of one thirty rupees. 160 rupees sorry if the selling price of the 10 articles is the same as the cost price of 11 articles find the gain percent so let's assume that cost price of 11 articles okay and let's say that cost price of one article is 1 rupees so 11 articles is about 11 rupees now find the gain percent for what If we sell this particular ten articles in the same amount in eleven rupees, so what should be the selling price of one article? So it is eleven divided by ten. So it is one rupees. Ten paisa is going to be your selling price of one article. Now we need to find out profit percent. So profit percent is going to be Selling price minus cost price divided by cost price into 100. Selling price is one rupees ten paisa. Cost price is one rupees divided by one rupees into 100. One rupees ten paisa minus one is what? Ten paisa only. Ten paisa you can say ten paisa. One rupees you can say hundred rupees. Hundred paisa. So this is what? Ten percent. So what the amount of percent you got? Ten percent profit is going to be there. Okay. so that is the quite uh, you can say not tricky actually but the calculation part is bit on easier part find the cross price of an article by selling the same for rupees 450 you incur a loss of 10% if you incur a loss of 10% so directly we can say that 90% of cost price was what it was 450 rupees So 90% of the cost price is 450 rupees. So what is the value of cost price? It is going to be 500 rupees. Now with the same 500 rupees, that was the cost price, and what they want? They want a gain of 10%. So right now or this time, the selling price should be it should be 110% of cost price, and what is cost price? 500 rupees. So selling price is going to be what? 550 rupees okay but uh, whenever these type of problems are there you can use a direct trick what that should be that trick that 90% of uh, something is what you can say 450 rupees and you got a 10% loss so obviously it was 90% and that is equals to 450 rupees so 90% of something and what is that something we are counting that is always going to be cost price okay So 90% of something is 450. So 1% of the same something is going to be what? Five rupees. Now 1% is there, but now you got a profit of 10% or a gain of 10%. So it should be 110%. So what is the amount of 110? So 110 into five is what? Five to and fifty rupees. So the same answer is there, but you can do it directly that by comparing the percentages. okay these are the question you will get a lot in the particular textbooks next come to the next question a man bought oranges at the rate of 4 for rupees okay and sold them at a profit of 40% okay let's say oranges amount of oranges you can take mangoes because oranges you know it looks like that they are zero actually so let's say four mangoes are costing 1 rupees 
so that is a cost price so cost price of one mango is going to be what 1 by 4 rupees now on this cost price you get a profit of 40 percent so what should be the selling price and what at what selling price you want to sell so 1 by 4 into 40 percent 140 percent so that is 1 by 4 into 140 percent is going to be what 0 to 0 cut so 2 to 4 so that is what 7 by 20 rupees so that is your selling price okay now 1 by 4 rupees ka matlab kya tha? 1 by 4 ka matlab tha 4 mangoes of 1 rupees so 7 by 20 ka matlab kya likh sakta hun? 7 by 20 ka matlab mein likh sakta hun ki 20 mangoes of 7 rupees okay so aap yaad rakhna is tarah ke jab bhi questions aate hain fix ho ke aata hai ki yahan pe jo 7 rupees honge usme number of mangoes ya oranges jo honge they are always going to be integer part why आप ये तो नहीं ले सकते हो कि 5.5 मैंगोस आ जाएंगे आंसर में या 6.25 मैंगोस आएंगे तो ऐसे क्वेश्चंस जब भी आते हैं तो ये सब सेट होके आता है कि आपके जो नंबर्स होने चाहिए दे शुड बी इंटीजर्स तो ये जो रुपीस लिखे जाते हैं उसमें फिक्स है कि जो नंबर आएगा वो हमेशा इंटीजर नंबर ही आएगा फाइन तो आप ऐसे फ्रैक्शंस को डायरेक्ट यूज करा सकते हो उससे क्लियर है यहां तक तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं Two articles are sold at 198 rupees each such that a profit of 10% is made on the first while a loss of 10% is made on the other. What would be the net profit or loss on the two transactions combined? Okay, so let's write down a frame actually because that is another easy question or thoda sa tough b hai. Selling price aapko de rakha hai, dono ka 198, 198. ये सेलिंग प्राइस कब मिला है जब आपने एक पे 10% का प्रॉफिट लिया है और दूसरे पे 10% का लॉस लिया है लेट्स से पहले वाले का कॉस्ट प्राइस x है दूसरे वाले का कॉस्ट प्राइस y है तो ये आपको अमाउंट कैसे मिला है फर्स्ट अमाउंट मिला है आपको कि किसी नंबर का जब आपने 110% किया था x का तो आपको 198 रुपीस मिले तो यहां से कैलकुलेट कर लेते हैं 11 1 जा 11 करेंगे आप तो 8 बचेगा 11 8 जा 88 तो आपका x है उसका वैल्यू आ जाएगा 188 180 रुपीस सेम आप इस वाले के साथ अप्लाई करते हैं लेकिन आपको इस बार 10% का प्रॉफिट मिला है तो आप क्या लिखेंगे सॉरी 10% का लॉस हुआ है सो so, 10% का लॉस हुआ है तो आप लिखोगे 90% ऑफ y is equals to 198 रुपीस तो यहां से एक आठ दीजिए 9 2 18 9 2 18 सो वैल्यू ऑफ y इज व्हाट 220 रुपीस आपके पास दोनों सेलिंग प्राइसेस हैं और सेलिंग प्राइसेस कितना है 198 198 ईच तो टोटल सेलिंग प्राइस कितना होगा 396 और टोटल कॉस्ट प्राइस कितना हो जाएगा 220 प्लस 180 इज व्हाट 400 रुपीस नाउ आपको क्या निकालना है आपको ऑल ओवर प्रॉफिट और लॉस परसेंट निकालना है साफ दिख रहा है कि आपका सेलिंग प्राइस कम है आपका कॉस्ट प्राइस ज्यादा है सो यू गेट अ लॉस एंड दिस लॉस परसेंट इज व्हाट ऑफ 4 रुपीस एंड व्हाट कॉस्ट प्राइस it is cost price is 400 multiplied by 100 तो आपको कितने रुपीस का loss हुआ है आपको 1% का loss हुआ है total transaction के अंदर ये वाले questions जब होते हैं जब common gain और common loss इस पे दोनों पे equal होता है तो आप इसको directly भी apply कर सकते हो तो इसका formula आप use कर सकते हो that is given by there is always a loss percent okay so make sure कि यहां मेशा loss होगा that is given by common gain or loss what is given to you divided by 10 or uska whole square okay so jo bhi common gain common loss hota hai divided by 10 karoge aur uska whole square kar doge like in this question common gain kitna tha 10 divided by 10 aur uska whole square karoge so one ka square is what one to aapko 1% ka loss hua tha theek hai yahan tak agar yahan pe main bolta ki 20% ka profit 20% ka loss hua tha to kya hoga so it is 20 upon 10 of a risk of whole square so 20 upon 10 is 2 2 ka whole square is 4 so 4 percent ka loss is kinder ho jayega okay so this type ke questions aayenge to aapko ye direct e wala trick bhi isme apply karna hai next question karte hain a 
a person purchases 50 dozen eggs at rupees 4 per dozen of this 40 eggs were found broken at what price should he sell the remaining eggs in order to make a profit of 5% okay so first of all let's take cost price out cost price kahun 50 dozen 4 rupees per dozen pe sale kiya hai to kitne rupees mein sale kiya usne 200 rupees ke andar aur total x kitna actually to 50 dozen x hai 12 into 50 is what 600 aapke paas x hai baad mein usne kaha hai ki kuch bhi ho jaye usko to 5% ka profit chahiye to 20 ka 10% kitna hota hai 200 ka 10% 20 to 5% kitna ho jayega 10 to usne kaha kuch bhi ho jaye उसको इस पूरे ट्रांजैक्शन के अंदर 210 रुपीस चाहिए, ओके, बट प्रॉब्लम हो गई यहाँ पे, दैट 60 आउट ऑफ 60 एक्स, 40 एक्स वर ब्रोकन डाउन, सो हाउ मेनी एक्स आर लेफ्ट, 560 एक्स आर लेफ्ट, उसने कहा था कि रुपीस जो है वो आपको डजन में चाहिए, कि डजन के अंदर कितना होगा, तो आपने 12 का 210 रुपीस के अंदर आपको सेल करने हैं 72 जा 14 73 जा 21 तो 1 डजन एक कितना होगा 9 by 2 and this is going to be 4.5 रुपीस पर डजन तो 1 डजन एक कितने का हो जाएगा 4 रुपीस 50 पैसा पर डजन ओके ओके लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन an article costing rupees 200 is marked to 25% higher than its cost price and it is sold at discount of 10% for cash payment. A customer is ready to pay the full amount on the spot. What is the shopkeeper's percentage profit? So an article costing rupees 200 is marked to 25% higher than cost price. So what should be the mark price now? It is 125% of 200. So obviously it is going to be 250 rupees is your mark price. Out of that, he started to give a discount of 10%. So we can directly say that 250 is 10% is going to be what? 25 rupees is off. So now at what amount he started to sell actually? That is of 225 rupees. But still, what was the cost price? So cost price was 200 rupees. And now he is selling at it. 225 rupees so we can say that he is gaining 25 rupees profit okay so percentage profit we can calculate by profit divided by cost price into 100 so 12.5 percent going to be your profit percent so what should be the profit percent actually what they asked you is a percentage profit so now still he is gaining 12.5 percent of profit okay A commission of if a commission of 10% is given on the mark price of a book then the publisher gains 20% if the commission is increased to 15% then what is the gain percent okay that is really good question actually now see the thing is that that percentage is all over the question is given to you and they asked you about percentage so in these type of questions you can assume a quantity or anything that is going to be there a commission of 10% is given on the mark price. So let us assume that mark price is going to be what? It is going to be 100 rupees. Now 10% is commission is given to you. So minus 10 rupees is there. So they are agreed to sell it at what? 90 rupees. Then the publisher gains 20 rupees. But still he is gaining 20 rupees. Or sorry, 20% on that. So I think the most important thing is that you already told you in a theory part. Then whenever you are solving question of profit and loss, make sure that you are calculating the value of cost price. So cost price can be written by gaining 20% on this. So we can say this 120% of cost price and that is equals to what? 90 rupees. So what should be the value of cost price? It is 90 into 100 divided by 120. 33 is a 34 is a this is 25 so cost price is what 75 rupees so 75 rupees is the cost price of this particular book 
now but the question is change actually now what they are demanding if you started to give 15 percent discount so that is minus 15 rupees so now your selling price is going to be what it is 85 rupees and what is your cost price your cost price is fixed that is is what 75 rupees so now what is the percentage profit you want to gain so profit is changed actually now it now the profit is what is only of 10 rupees cost price is what 75 so that is 75 into 100 5 twos are 10 or nothing to do with 10 actually 25 threes are 25 fours are so this is what 40 divided by 3 percent so 40 divided by 3 percent or you can say 13.33 percent is also there okay so that is going to be our profit percent okay